Hey guys, Nick Espinosa, your chief security fanatic here. And today I want to talk about fixing things yourself. And I'm not necessarily talking about your computer or anything technical or electronic or if the Wi-Fi goes out. I'm talking about things around your household because we seem to be having a serious issue with this. Now, this article is coming from Study Finds, who aggregated a lot of this information, and it was beyond fascinating. And Obviously, the internet is supposed to make our lives easier. It's kind of hard to argue that. However, a new survey of 1,000 Americans, basically adults, suggests that all of this convenience with the internet may be actually robbing an entire generation of basic home maintenance skills. Now, here's what's going on. In all, about 38% of respondents said they are helpless and unable to fix common household problems, such as patching up drywall, fixing a running toilet, that kind of thing, without getting the help of the internet. We need to Google things to figure out how to do things. Now, respondents were asked about their ability to fix a variety of different household problems without turning to Google for help, and the results are absolutely fascinating. While close to half of us, 43%, said they know how to unclog a drain, only 25% know how to install a drywall anchor. Another 39% said they can stop running, stop a running toilet all by themselves, and 38% can find a stud in a wall. Additionally, 31% or less than one third actually know how to patch a hole in drywall, and 29%, again, less than one third of us, say they can replace a washer on a leaky faucet. Now, diving deeper into the numbers, we find out that age is also a factor. 85% of the survey participants over the age of 65 said they can accomplish at least one of those tasks that I just mentioned without having to Google it or going to the internet in some way, shape, or form. Also, interestingly enough, male respondents generally reported being more confident regarding home repair tasks than female participants. Researchers also looked into uh, search engine data to see how often Americans are looking at various issues and found that 11,000 people search for information on how to fix a leaky faucet each month. Interestingly enough, now 7,200 7, search how to unclog a drain every month and 4,100 look into how to find a stud. Less frequent searches include how to stop a running toilet, that's about 1,500 of us, and how to patch a drywall hole, 300 or so, or how to stop a drywall anchor, or how to install, excuse me, a drywall anchor, that's about 150 every single month. On average, respondents over the age of 45 are much more confident in their ability to perform repairs, while nearly half, the res half of the respondents aged 18 to 24 admitted that they can't accomplish any of the aforementioned tasks. I find this very interesting. I am under 45. I can pretty much do all of these things, and I have done them in the past. I probably thank my father for that. Now, considering the prior statistic that only 25% of Americans know how to install a drywall anchor, the low number of monthly searches on that topic indicates that most are willing to call a repairman instead of fixing it themselves. And honestly... I think that's a good thing, and I'll tell you why. We can specialize in this market and economy. If we are looking back prior to the internet, when everybody kind of had to do it themselves, figure things out on their own, that was fine. I have no problem with that, but now we have the internet. Now we start to specialize. I know my strengths. I know my weaknesses. I know what I'm good at, and quite frankly, I know what I suck at. And I have no problem basically hiring somebody or paying somebody to do those things for me. This happens to be one of those things that I am fine with. I'm not saying I can build stuff. And I actually spend a lot of time around contractors and people in construction. I deal with a lot of those companies. They are awesome people. And they know a ton of stuff that I don't. And quite frankly, I know a ton of stuff that they don't. And so we have this mutual exchange. I will never do an oil change in my car because I will probably blow it up. I like my car. I know a lot about my car. I'm not going to do the regular maintenance on that. I'm more than happy to have a mechanic I trust do that. And this is the economy. This is what we are. We should be playing to our strengths. And anytime we have a weakness, we should be admitting it. And that's completely fine. And then getting help from somebody else, whether it's Googling it or going to somebody else. And so I think while this is absolutely interesting, 
And I think this speaks to, let's say, a lack of self-reliance as we are growing up. And there are some very basic things I don't think you need to call a repair person for, like finding a drywall anchor or, you know, um, you know, replacing a washer on something. Those are, I think, pretty straightforward things. I'm glad Google is there to help those people become more handy. And when we get to the point where we just can't figure this out or it's going to be too complex or too much uh, you know, of a, of a time suck to do it, I'm glad that we have the ability to call and the internet has a call somebody and the internet has actually responded to that because we have things like TaskRabbit that basically say, hey, I need somebody to do something for me and I'm willing to pay a little bit of money to get that done. That's just what it is. Some people love, for example, if they have a home, cutting their grass. Other people, myself included, absolutely hate it. I think it's a waste of time. Some people love that time to just sit back and think to their own. Everybody's different. Admit your strengths, admit your weaknesses, and find somebody to help you if you can. And I think that is very telling, but this is a very interesting survey. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on this as well because we really don't talk about these kinds of things, but I think the internet has transformed this and allowed us to specialize in those things that we specialize and get help when we don't. So there it is, and that is your news of the day. And please like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP, uh, and please feel free to subscribe to me at YouTube as well. And as always, stay safe and stay online. Thanks, guys.